Today, I'm going to give you five tips to scale or grow your coaching business in 2023. In fact, I'm going to over deliver. I'm going to give you six. But 2023 is going to be a very exciting time, a very exciting business because people are really looking for help. People that are trying to get out of their career, businesses that are trying to grow, they're looking for coaching. So the first one is you need to optimize your environment. And when I'm talking about environment, I'm talking about mindset, the people you surround yourself, and your physical. So let's talk about mindset. When I talk about mindset, are you reading books to keep yourself positive? Are you listening to podcasts? Are you listening to audiobooks? You know, what are you doing to increase your knowledge and positivity? That is huge. You need to continue to grow. So keep yourself reading, listening to people, hire a coach. The second one in environment is people. Who are you surrounded with? Now, I'm, I don't mean you need to get rid of people. You don't need to leave your family. You don't need to leave your friends. But make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people to keep you positive. You know, if you're a coach in the relationship business, be around coaches in the relationship business. Be around positive people. Be around people that believe in you. And the third one about optimizing environment is your physical, your office, where you live. Right? Keep everything neat, organized, on your computer. Have folders where if somebody's asking for something, you can just go, hey, write a name and it shows up. You can get to it. And that's my downfall. I have to organize my computer a little bit better. So the first one is optimize your environment. The second one is clarity. Now, you hear clarity a lot in coaching because they say they have a clarity call. But really what it is, is right now, you know, what is your next step? That's what it is, is knowing that day, what is your next step to improve your business, to get a client, to put together a course, to get healthy, to, that's what it is, having clarity. You know, making sure you know what you're going to do next. The third tip is confidence. Now, confidence is really a skill. I, you know, and I, I really want you to think about this because sometimes I wake up and I'm, oh, man, I'm just stressed out. I don't know if I can do it. It might be a money challenge, might be a business challenge, whatever, but my confidence is sinking. But to tell you the truth, confidence is a skill. See, you have a skill when you drive a car. See, you have a skill to keep your confidence up. You know what to do to keep it up because you're a coach, right? You have a skill in getting clients. You have a confidence in getting clients. That's what it is. So confidence is you develop a skill of being confident in what you do. Now the third one is pain and money. Now I don't know about you, <laughs> what I do is I have a tendency to always want to get another coach or another book or another course. And guess what? It can drain my money a little bit. So it's there. But the pain is me spending too much money. So then I'm challenged and my confidence goes down and I got to get stressed out and I got to go to work harder. But what you want to do is you want to be able to know how to get out of your pain and how to solve pain. So what I'm saying, if you have pain, what are your clients going through? What can you solve for them? All right, are, people are struggling financially. How can you help them? People are struggling relationship-wise. How can you help them? People are struggling in their coaching business. How can you help them in their coaching business? That's it. That's all it is. Okay, so four tips. Here's my fifth one. This is about pricing. And pricing can be challenging when you're first starting out. You know, I, I heard one coach um, told me like, 
197 a month, three calls. Then 297 a month, three calls. Then I heard one say 497 a month and four calls. Then I heard 1497 and, and get a plan for three months. And then I heard a guy that said, and I this guy's really good, um, five grand, three months, 12 one on one calls. But see, here's the key I don't care where you start, you got to start somewhere. And what happens if you are saying, okay, my price is 197 for three months and you're hiring people just like this, your price is too low. So you need to increase it. So how do you increase it? You can go up 10%, go up 20%, go from 197 to 497, go from 497 to 997, go to 997 to 1497. And I'm talking about packages now and build yourself up so everyone you talk to isn't just jumping on to get it, if that makes sense. I mean, you want clients, but at the same time, if everybody's saying yes, your price too low. So pricing, find the right, right price point. The next one is, and now this is really crazy. It, it's called the why game, not knowing your why, but it's called the why game. You know, if you ever, and I've said this a lot to people, go to bed, and as you're going to bed, how can I do this? How can I double my business? All right? But instead of asking how, ask, why will my business double? You know, you're asking a totally different question. So, here we go. I over-delivered. Isn't that cool? One, optimize your environment. Two, clarity. Three, confidence. Four is pain and money. Five is your pricing. And don't be afraid to raise it. And six is play the why game. Instead of asking yourself how, how can I do this? Why would I do this? Why would this happen? Because you're asking a different type of question. Your mind reacts to that. So, hey, in the link below, I have an escape your nine to five PDF. It's outstanding how you can grow your business and scale your business. So you all take care. If you'd like a clarity call, it's not a clarity call though. If you'd like to learn how to double your sales and your profits, I have a free coaching call for you. The link's down below there too. Y'all take care. Bye.